Good evening, everybody. This is Johnny Seville with your executive summary for stock setups for Tuesday. And the uh, we could start it off with the S and P. Uh, uh, we talked about it well in the um, summary last week. Uh, going into Friday, we said this is probably where the market's going to bounce, if it's going to bounce at all. Get a bit of a relief rally. Uh, we've uh, we've had that over Friday and Monday so far. Edging up to the bottom end of that open range, as you can see on this yellow line here, we're sitting around 23.80. And uh, we could consider we could continue to uh, just cons consolidate back and forth here. Uh, we're riding off the uh, moving average as you can see at the moment. So a uh, bit of a wait and see uh, for the next few days. I don't expect any big moves, uh, but um, uh, just take it from a day to day. And again, as we always say, this isn't a stock market. It is a market of individual stocks. And uh, that's been the beauty of the market over the last few weeks is lots of individual performance in both directions. So um, we'll continue with that uh, mentality in tonight's summary. Uh, we'll take, uh, firstly, we'll look at the long side, uh, EDIT. Uh, flags have really been one of the uh, favorite plays in this, uh, these market conditions. They've been big performers, quick performers. You either make a lot really quickly or you stop out quickly. So you kind of get proven wrong or right fairly soon. Uh, EDIT has uh, been a nice flag formation we've been watching before. Um, you can see it had this, uh, this lovely setup and then actually continued further up and has been consolidating in a downward channel. So uh, we can look at the, uh, the length of this this channel here, we've now broken out of that, and uh, I mentioned this in trading room on Thursday night to uh, to watch for the breakout there. We had that on Monday, so uh, now we should be looking at a um, at a target of a double top here. So you uh, you could have a a nice run up to uh, the, to this zone of uh, 28.54 from where we currently are. Uh, the high here was uh, 20. 28.50, so I'd be looking on the the, uh, the other side of that. So looking at say uh, 28.37 as the uh, first target. Now typically um, uh, we don't like to see the flag continue uh, past the pole. You can see this uh, this uh, channel developed beyond that original flag formation. But if that flag were to continue, then you'd be looking at a target of where the 61.85 uh, Fibonacci would come in, so you'd be looking at a second target here of uh, 31.37. So uh, you've got two target potentials there, 28.37 and 31.37, and um, I'd be looking at a uh, at a stop of uh, 23.27. So there's uh, just over uh, about a buck fifty of risk, roughly, or a bit more than that, buck sixty of risk, and um, uh, with some good potential gain there. So uh, there's the first one. Uh, the other flag that uh, we'd mentioned last week to keep an eye on was a CALA, and um, uh, unfortunately, I felt, unfortunately, I missed this one today. But uh, if anyone else was in that, that had a really good rally. That was um, uh, up uh, again. You can see from nine up to the high here of uh, 1370, creating that flag downward channel. And then uh, it had its launch today, uh, broke broke out, uh, rallied 19% on 2 million shares, over 414,000 on Friday. You can see that's flagging again. Obviously, that should, uh, I look at a target there of around 17 we discussed. So um, that's uh, well on its way. Um, PRZM, also one we chatted about last week. I still like this. Uh, we mentioned it needed to break out of the 88-90 zone or wherever that uh, that that trend line was going to hit. Uh, as you can see, it hit the trend line, didn't break out above it. Uh, we we went further down today, so now we we are looking at more of a probably a, a downward channel, like in that previous example, or uh, or a or a falling wedge or something like that. But uh, continue to watch for the breakout. I mean, you just have to keep adjusting this kind of target downwards. Um, but uh, once you get a break out of that trend line, I'd expect uh, it to be able to rally up to that 140, 150 zone. So uh, that trend line is now uh, lower. So again, be um, looking for the break of that trend line it would be around 87 cents now uh, for that uh, for that breakout. <clears throat> IMMU. Um, this one is uh, also from the flag scan. As you can see, it's had a, a nice rally up. The, uh, the, fl the the candles have been condensing on weakening volume, which usually means uh, the, the trend is coming to an end. But uh, it is closing at the top half of its range on each of the candles. So um, uh, if this breaks 6.47, you could get a nice little pop up to around 7.23. Uh, and I'd be looking at a stop of 6.07. And if you see, if we go back a little bit, you can kind of see where this area comes from. It's way back here. 
is where that target comes from, where we get to a significant top, which and at that point, that could also be a uh, an, an excellent shorting opportunity as you reach a an atom and atom uh, top, whereas some, a serious sell-off came from that area before. So a possible short-term long, um, which could then easily turn into a smart money extremes short. So I'd be looking for both there. Um, and of course, RIGL already from our, uh, again, also from our, one of our existing mentions from last week, uh, RIGL had a nice rally starting to uh, starting to push today on some good volume uh, up um, from 1.05 on Friday to 1.42, um, back up into that kind of entry criteria. So we'll keep an eye on this as well. Uh, on the short side, these are mostly from the bear scan. Uh, the uh, FNSR came from the bear scan. You can see we've actually got a, a nice uh, double top pattern here. So there's the two tops. That's kind of an Adam and Eve top uh, with a lower high. So when you get that, what you're looking for is uh, either shorting at that, uh, that criteria or you're waiting for it to break through the support below and then you can measure the distance from the top to the bottom and uh, duplicate that beneath. So uh, that's what you're kind of looking at there is a, is a drop now down towards this uh, 18 area. So uh, I'd be looking for, um, again, a break below 26.38 as an entry signal. Um, I'd look at a target of $20.13, although it could, be, uh, it could be better than that. You could see a drop all the way down uh, towards uh, 18. But um, again, that's, I'd, I'd be looking at the conservative side for now. And uh, you can see... Uh, <clears throat> The reason for that is just looking at that kind of shelf of um, of uh, resistance there that we broke through before may ch uh, may pose some challenges, but uh, should easily be able to get down to 2013, I would think, and then you can you could reassess it at that point. Um, I'd look at a stop criteria of 2413 uh, as uh, some some areas to consider. And last but not least, PGRE also from our. Uh, uh, recent alerts. Uh, we mentioned on Trading Room last week that this would be, uh, looks like it's ready to go now. So uh, again, if this one uh, uh, breaks below 16.20, I'd be looking at a target of 15.20. So there's about a buck there, um, or about 7% roughly. And I'd look at a, a stop signal of 16.63. So, uh, so there you have it. That's uh, tonight's uh, executive summary. Now, uh, don't miss this Wednesday night. We're going to be doing a, uh, a special presentation on this, on smart money indicators and um, and how we start to incorporate them to search for high probability smart money scans. We're at a very interesting period in this market, so uh, don't miss it. It's going to be at uh, 8:15 p.m. Eastern this Wednesday. Uh, so 8:15 p.m. this Wednesday, you can register by going to acornwealthcorp.com forward slash event. Um, this this is the perfect time to be uh, to be watching these smart money indicators because we are at a very precarious time with market movements going in both directions. So uh, with uh, rate hikes around the corner, um, gold under pressure, U.S. dollar soaring, you know, there's a lot of cross currents that uh, means something big is coming. So uh, don't miss uh, the presentation on Wednesday. It's complimentary where we'll be going over what we see coming and uh, and how to play it. So again, acornwealthcorp.com forward slash event. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you in trading room tomorrow. Take care.